The Earth's climate has changed drastically throughout history. Within the last 650,000 years, there have been seven cycles of glacier advance and retreat. And it's important to know that it's just been absolutely cray cray with this weather. The current warming trend is of particular significance because most of it is extremely likely to be the result of human activity since around the mid 20th century. It's unbelievable. And global satellites are finding all the. Look, this guy's working very hard to get the data and to see what's going on. Now, recently,、uh, there's a small brown rat which lived on an island just off of northern Australia, and it became the first mammal to have become extinct due to human induced climate change. It's known as the Bramble K. Melamies, and they were on a coral island off of the Great Barrier Reef, and they're now extinct in large part because the ocean levels are rising. And just today, it seems that the White House is working to gather together a panel to assess whether climate change poses a national security threat. Which we all know it does, because within 10 to 15 years, we are absolutely screwed if we do not address this. Now, the heat trapping nature of carbon dioxide and other gases was first shown in the mid 19th century. And they have an ability to affect the transfer of infrared energy through most of our atmosphere. It's unbelievable. It's the cold is colder, the hot is hotter. And the planet's average surface temperature has risen roughly 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit since the late 19th century. Again, this is a change due mostly to increased carbon dioxide and other human made emissions into our atmosphere. And most of the warming has occurred within the past 35 years. That's right, see? This little stick guy is freaking out because climate change and global warming affects our health. It affects our health both physically and mentally. It's absolutely true. And the oceans have absorbed much of the increased heat. Oh my goodness, there are shrinking ice sheets. And deforestation, as you see here, is really responsible for taking away a lot of our wildlife's habitat. When they cut down trees, they burn the trees. We really, really do it to ourselves. Ew, what the hell is that? We have to do something for the sake of our children and wildlife's future. Don't let anyone tell you that global climate change and climate change aren't real. They are. Hey, and don't be stupid. Just click something and subscribe already, won't you? Come on, do it.